and we're back with day 18 of the advent of code we just finished day 21 but uh, we like the look of the day 18 problem so we're gonna try and solve that um, and see if we can solve it like within an hour and then I gotta eat okay let's see now parenthesis can override okay so we just parse it right uh... So we just have to write a parser, right? Let me, let me see the input. Okay, it's always just a single digit. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Now, what are you going to say here? Uh, day 18. New file. Input. No. Test. Input. And we're going to say new file day18.hs now let's see module main where get uh, okay so expression expert what is the expression data expert is going to be it's going to be add expert expert or it's going to be mall expert expert we're gonna be par expert deriving show okay so uh pars expressions we just write a parser right uh import text dot parsec oh, we don't need a fast parser actually let's just do import text dot parser combinators dot parser uh dot char what is it uh text dot parser no this is i think we're looking for the read p1 because I don't, I don't even even go to parsec i don't i think we don't we, we don't need it so I parse an expression. So a uh, parse expr. Make a string. I'm gonna return as an expression. Parse expr str equals. Now this is gonna be no. This is yeah exactly. This is a read p expr. Um. So it's always gonna st so or yeah okay so or digit int parse string okay so this is gonna be a symmetric choice yeah okay so it's gonna be mm -hmm. uh, let's see um... So this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be a digit, or like, uh, where parse digit is going to take a string and going to return an int, uh, an, an expert, and parse digit is going to be a digit and yeah, this is gonna be a parser expert right now digit is going to be um, uh, this is gonna be you know it's, it's gonna be get actually um, <laughs> 
So I think I think what I have to do is I have to do do. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Oops. Read p. So do so skip spaces right and then get. And then we're gonna say uh, uh, c. It's gonna be get and then we're gonna say uh, digit. Uh, so return digit of read at int c and we don't have to see the ad okay so this is gonna be a uh, parse expression is gonna be do skip spaces now it's gonna be choice oh, so it's either gonna be you know uh, it's gonna be parse digit uh, and then what you say it's char parse digit uh, e no it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be here now okay so parse add that's gonna be read p expert right parse add is gonna be do so it's gonna be digit d is going to be you know the number and then we're going to say you know skip spaces hr plus and then e and then skip spaces and then e expert e is going to be pars pars expert and we're going to say return a add d e Pars up and then it's gonna be up and zero is gonna be up. It's gonna be jar. Okay, so pars expression uh, uh up to uh E is it gonna be take a char to a function of you know a function of uh, expert uh, expert and is gonna up to e uh, up to e you know plus is gonna be add up to e times is gonna be uh, uh, mol. And this is gonna be up to e, um, and it's gonna be up to e, and it's gonna be uh, the up uh, applied to d and e. Yeah, probably right. So here, parse expression is gonna be do. That's going to be, you know, a choice of we will, you know, parse up plus. So, okay. We can either parse a, so I think, you know, I think it's always going to be an expression, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to parse a plus. We're gonna parse up a star. We're gonna parse again. Okay, then we're gonna say here parse par uh, is gonna be you know is gonna be a read p expert and you know parse par is just gonna be between a jar like this and then char closing uh, and then we get the yeah, and this, so it's gonna be uh, this is gonna be like here uh, now this is gonna return an expression uh, so we're gonna say parse expert and now we're just gonna say you know f map you know it's gonna be whatever this returns injected into par right no yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like we're gonna we're gonna say you know, p 
par dollar like this. I think that's okay. So we're gonna parse parse par or parse digit. Is that crazy stuff? Oh no. Where did we go wrong right here? Okay. Now pars par Pars op is applied to two arguments. Char read p as only one. Oh. I need a comma. Okay. The yeah, we need to apply this, right? To so I uh, main is IO main equals uh, so we do so we're gonna say get input that's gonna be you know it's gonna be a file path to a, a IO of expression and get input is just gonna be uh, it's gonna be you know now okay so we say so the instance read uh expert where reads reads it's gonna be a uh, where uh, yeah it's gonna be just what well, how do you how do we again use this read p yeah okay so instance read i forgot how instance read Making a read instance stack overflow. Okay, so what do we have to define again? Reads prec. And this is a read s, right? So we're just gonna say read uh, reads prec care of the is this is gonna be read p two s, I think. Let's just have a typed whole uh pars expert. Uh and then get input is going to be read uh, fmap read over read file and this is going to be get input uh, test input into print now here read p2s yeah Control period, uh, repeat to us. Nice. Uh, digit. Okay, yeah. A digit. Uh, parse op. D. Digit. Digit. Okay. Uh, parse digit. Exactly. Now, okay. But D. Uh, parse op to E. Yeah, this is supposed to be like this. Bring, 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 bring. Oops. Uh, what happens here? Oh, I don't have test input. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, a uh, two plus times three times forty-five. Okay, let's see here. Let's just see what this becomes. Test input. Oh yeah, and I have to run it also. I'm not gonna measure this. I mean, this is not a speed run, right? So we're adding one, and then we're multiplying two with adding three, and we're multiplying. Okay. And now we're just gonna say, okay. Uh, oops, this is day sixteen. Now, okay, eval expert. Eval expert expert to int eval expert d the digit i is gonna be i eval expert par uh, par e is gonna be eval expert e eval expert at a b is equal to eval expert a plus eval expert b i mean it's like parsing except like we don't even have to deal with presidents that's crazy right eval expert mol a b is equal to eval expert a times eval ex 
it's Ruby. So, I mean, this is like Haskell at its finest, you know? We're doing Haskell from just writing the parser. That's what Haskell is good at. Now, what did we get for the expression? 95. Uh, that's not good. What? How did we get that? So, add one times two. Let's, uh, let's trace here. I mean, there's no parenthesis here, right? So... Oh, now I think I'm doing the... I'm doing what you should do, but instead it's... It's uh, it's not doing that, right? So, digit I, then party. So, add A, B... Um, wait, let me see. Hmm. What am I? You're going right to left. Oh yeah, so it ends up being... Am I going right to... Am I going right to left? Are you sure? So we have add one, digit two. Let's... Okay, let's... Let's just check, actually. list of expressions and we're gonna say map map read over here a read file mm. um. print map you know expression now let's do now let me go I just want to see uh, preload par no pars damn it I think it's some white space error. Oh my god. No, no. Damn it, it's not parsing the ones with the parentheses, right? Okay, so one plus two is gonna be so okay, so let's see let's just fix the evaluation, right? Let's fix the evaluation first. Um Okay, so it's not supposed to be ninety-five. So one plus two is three. Okay. Um, so we get we get add digit one, mall digit two and three. Right. 
Um, yeah, okay, so that's the thing, right? It, it's not actually in, like an expression, right? It's a... Um, it's just like a series of commands, right? So this is how you would actually evaluate an expression, right? Um, right so add one. Okay, yeah. Hmm. So for parentheses, but for adds, so these are always going to be a digit, right? Let's just do it like this. Okay, so if we have add with a digit. How are we going to do it? Just fix it. Uh, let's just say uh, expert to list. Okay, and this is gonna be a data op is gonna be a no sheet. This is also the problem with using read p, right? Because it just says no, you know, no pars, and then it doesn't actually tell you anything. So add So we want to do like this, add, add a, add a, b, c, that's going to be, you know, it's going to be a plus b, It's gonna be yeah. evil expert for A, evil expert for B, and then times I think like this. And then from all, if it's gonna be yeah, and then it's gonna be times. get away with doing it like this no damn it okay let's see So open, close, open, close, parses open, followed by a P, followed by, finally by close. Only value of P is return. Okay, so we parse up plus, so it's gonna be, you know, 
Part digit, skip spaces. That's right here. Uh, okay, this is the wrong input. Test input here, and here we had this, right? Okay, let's fix the parsing, and then we can look at the other stuff. So how do we parse a par? Well, we said just say do. I mean, okay, so it's, it's gonna be you know, do. It's gonna be skip spaces, and then it's gonna be char prime. And then parse expert. And then. E. And then char like this. Turn E. Let's take a no parse. Okay, so it, it will skip spaces and then one plus. Okay, and then it's trying to do this, right? So skip spaces, skip spaces. Oof. But that, I mean, this is equivalent to the previous one, right? But that one does not parse. Okay. I think I, I think I have to fix this because this is like how you do regular expressions, right? Like or not not the regular regular expressions, but like this is how you do expressions usually. Like you value by one part, you value by the second part, you f add them together, okay? Okay, so okay, so evaluating add a b. Plus two times three, right? And I'm not. I'm not doing any president stuff. Timmy says, "Right, you're going right to left." I find that hard to believe, you know. But I'm going here. Six times five. Um. Uh, 
So we'll do one and then so if we want to do one plus two times this rest, right? So okay, so let's see. doing enjoying christmas so far it's a bit of a different christmas right not the nicest one but you know it's something just flip these you know oh well I can't actually so I flipped it and it's still not parsing this one but that's okay yeah but I still get 95 right because it's associative Okay, let's try that. Let's just literally reverse the string. Oh, I still get... But why isn't it... Why did it parse it the same way? This is <laughs> why doesn't this reverse? Oh wait, I'm reversing. I'm reversing the order of the lines, not not the actual string first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is like six and then uh, okay so we can we can just reverse the string that's funny I mean, and that's the correct approach, right? Because, you know, it's going to be, you know, whatever this results in, plus six, right? So we just reverse the entire string. And what it's going to do is that it's going to calculate this entire thing and then add it to this. So that's, that's, that's a cool, cool solution to me. I like it. All right, let's make it part parentheses.
Let's see. What? What is going on here? Fars expert. Okay, this works.
it's not good okay parts yeah so you can't we can't just do this right Okay, let's see what we're trying to do. Is that, uh, so here, here I say parse digit. Now that doesn't work. Because, um, Um choice parse par come on parse digit Wow Nice. See, this is what happens on GHC on Windows, right? Sometimes it just crashes. Alright, great. All works. Okay, so it works on this. I'm gonna copy and paste these. It was just like here I was only parsing a digit, but it might have it can be a It can be a uh, Like a like yeah The the arguments are either a digit or an operand, right? Okay, let's see One fifty one twenty six four three seven twelve thirty four one three six three two. Okay, it works. Works for all of them. Now, can I do away with this stupid reverse thing? I don't like it. How can I like, you know, fully evaluate? I want to fully, fully evaluate the expression B here. Okay, let's just, let's just run the sum on this, right? So we're gonna print the sum of evaluating the expressions. Already got the input. And now, yeah, so we just parse the input backwards, but the key thing is that we have to rotate the parentheses as well, right? That worked. Okay, let's see if this is our answer. All right, we got part one. Whoop, whoop. Let's see if part two works. Uh, okay, now addition and multiplication. Now addition and multiplication have different present levels, but they're not the ones that are familiar. Instead, addition is evaluated before multiplication. 231. Didn't we get 231 earlier? Did 
dun, dun, dun. I mean, we were doing like the weird thing here. So it was like add, you know, if you're adding small a, b, then you first It was like this, right? I feel like we saw it before, right? So 231, uh, 51, 46. Okay, this is supposed to be 329, okay. three plus four times five so that's supposed to be we're supposed to do three plus four times five so number is supposed to be two times three plus four times five mm -hmm. well thanks for the subscription Hussein Go Kali, cool. That was nice to get, or no, it's not a subscription, but a follow. But yeah, I appreciate follows. They are poor man's subscription. You always need more follows, you know? What is wrong here? So, it, but I think it has something to do with parentheses. So we got it correct if there's no parentheses. Now, if there's parentheses between, so, yeah, okay. Uh, oh yeah, that is pretty hacky, Timmy. That is very hacky. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna see. See what's up. Uh, Let's see. Because now we have to care about presidents, right? Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Now, pars expert 2. Let's just write it again. Now, instead of... Instead, so, let's write it differently, right? Pars expert 2. So, I... Because I, I don't... I don't like... I, I don't... I think this is a bit weird. So, okay. So, parsing the expression. So, okay. So, we're going to do... Um... So it's going to be, it's going to be a pars. A, so it's going to be, you know, so it's going to be D, so uh, E, E1. It's going to be digit or par, okay? And then we're going to say choice. No, op is choice, a char plus or char star okay uh, and then e2 is gonna be digit or par okay so and we're gonna skip spaces 
skip spaces okay now case op of if it's if it's a plus then we are going to return add uh, we're going to return um, add e1 e2 if it's star we are going to return um, par of mol e1 e2 return let's see i think this should work for our original case okay let's see um we don't have this and let's see what this returns now we need to fix it to parse expert 2 this should be parse expert 2 preload no parse um, okay so it's it's a so e1 digit or par then skip spaces then choice char plus or char star and then skip space and then a to digit or par now this should really be a yeah 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 okay so this should be pars expert Really right. Let's not let's not test this on the input. Okay, let's see. Oh, because this is supposed to be parsec row two, right? So without reversing see here uh, import okay that's not that didn't work Why didn't that work? Um, so, digit or par, and then...
So this is just digital par, right? And then it's parsec for two. Um, and uh, if it can't, uh, well, how did I write parse expo? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's always going to be an operation, right? This, this, it doesn't actually do anywhere, you know, just one number. I don't think so. No, okay, so it's always going to be an operation. Oh yeah, the second one might be just a number, right. Uh, choice. Digit or par, par, x for two. Okay, now we get this. One plus one plus two. Okay, now we're gonna say times two. And now it's gonna be one plus, like this, the parenthesis, okay? And now we, we, we evaluate that. These are the traces, 95, 51. Okay, that's wrong. Uh, so this is gonna be I think the par add e1 e2 we don't want to trace here let's see But uh, yeah, the thing was I want to say par e1, e2, right? And then... I want to go left to right, right? even change anything no, I mean it's not changing anything right okay let's let's do let's do the same thing as before do a reverse thing Or can I just do um, add par e2 and then e1 here? That shouldn't matter, right? No, that doesn't matter. Because it's uh, it's doing the sibling, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's just reverse it then again. And we say reverse here. And let's see what happens. Okay, now we got the correct results again, but with our like custom rule parser. Now I want to change the precedence here. So we say case op of. Um. 
So how do we change this? So this is E E1, E2, this is gonna be E1, E2. Now if it is so if it if you want uh, if you always want a uh, can we say you know par add here I mean that doesn't matter for these right It's it's always as if the two bottom ones were um, parenthesize, right? Okay, so if the sub expression is a um, if it's a multiple if it's a addition if it's a multiplication I want to do here mall I'm not doing anything useful here, right? And this is just incredibly, this is just not doing anything, right? We should rather, we should not be changing the parsing, I think. <coughs> we should be changing the eval expression. Expression two. So if I'm about to multiply,
Hmm. What am I trying to do here? So in this case, I would want to compute a1 plus a2 times a3 plus a4, right? Instead of saying a2 times a3, like it's not a1 plus a2 times a3 plus a4, right? Yeah. This is gonna be fine. So a and b. Now I'm supposed to multiply, you know, mall. Then I want this to be eval add add a1 mall a2 mall a3 a4 It's okay, so here is this is a one times a two times a three plus a four. This is a one plus a two times do 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 do. Here I want to add first, right? So this is going to be... Am I doing it exactly the wrong way? Yeah, I think I, I think it should be not changing this one. I think I should be changing this one's one. Eval expert two add a add a add um, add a one a two add a and this is the mall a one a three a four. This is uh, a one plus a two times a three times a four. Right. Um. Hmm. All right. This is like this. And I want to change the precedence of this to be, I want it to be actually, you know, add a1, add a, I want it to be add a3, uh, add a1, a2, and then I want to mall. This with a four. I think so. I like this. Add a at like this. Section going to be multiplying of adding those two together first, and then the last one. 
Now add, and then we have mall here, and add here. This is this is a, a1 times a2 plus a3 plus a4. This is going to be this is going to be mall. Uh, we're going to mall a1 with adding a a uh, we're gonna be this is gonna be oops so this is a a1 times a2 plus a3 a4 and this is gonna be multiplying a1 with adding a2 a3 a4 okay and so and then it just goes to regular mole okay let's see what eval express 2 does if it actually does anything different let's see let's see 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 non-exhaustive patterns okay and if it's something else eval expert add all oh, right we need a add mall a1 a2 uh mall mall a2 a3 uh this is you know a1 plus no times a2 plus a2 times plus a3 times a4 uh and in this case we actually want to say this is going to be the same as eval expert okay and then we have mall uh, a1 add a2 a3 a mall add a1 a3 uh, a, a1 wait this is going to be mall a1 a4 Four, right? What's wrong now? Oh, this is Zival Expert Two, right? And now it's complaining that oh, A two, right? A three, A four. This is actually the same as doing this. Okay. Zival Expert Two. Add a b equals eval oof, eval expert to a plus expert to b. Non-exhaustive patterns. Yeah, it's because. It's supposed to be just uh, A and B. Okay. Uh, okay, it's just doing the same thing again. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, let's see. It's weird though that this doesn't work. Uh, is it because I'm doing too many pars here? No, I'm not doing any pars. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's uh, let's can change it then. Okay, so digit is going to be a digit, right? Digit is always going to be a digit. I mean, I, I don't, I think we have to change the presidents during parsing, right? That's like where you do it, right? You don't, you never do it like this. We don't want to transform the expressions. I don't think that's clever. Okay, so we have digit a par, and then we skip spaces, and then we have choice char plus char star. Skip spaces choice. Digital par, parse expression 2. Yeah, but I'm doing it like that, okay. Oof. Let's see. Show ID. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It's only a test input, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we reversed it. Okay, let's see. Let's Google it. Parsing with residents. Do you have this read prec combinator, right? Let's see, now I, I'm doing it like this. I want to change it to... Like this, right? Uh, 
But it computes in the same stupid way, right? expression 2 now for that one we're not gonna we're not gonna reverse it uh, let's see we're getting our reading we're doing read get input okay and now we're not gonna reverse it so let's see Okay, which means we can't, yeah, we shouldn't reverse it, exactly. So now they have presidents, but uh, uh, we won't want. being parsed normally right one two okay um 5145 90 because uh, this one should be so now it's 95 but it should be 231, right? Mm -hmm. Can I just literally like try to parse its star and before I parse it? Okay, now let's try and write it a bit differently. P parse x for 3. Do, okay? So we, we parse e1 digit or par. And then skip spaces. And then up, it's gonna be choice. of char star or char plus um, Now, okay, we have a star, we have like a one, so we, we, we have like, you know, something like E1 plus, or we have E1 star. Okay, so now if it is, if it is, um, If up is star,
if it is if it is plus then we just do what did we do pars expert three um Let's like this. So if it is a plus, we want plus to have the highest precedence. Then we say, you know, uh, e two is. We just do do e two is pars expert three. Uh, uh, it's gonna be. It. Okay, let's let's just fix parts expert two. Actually, uh, let's see here. This is supposed to be a comma. Now skip space this case up up. Okay, if it is a star. If it's yeah, it's add plus, then we're gonna do. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would, I uh, yeah, but I'm like, I'm still, I'm still doing it this way, you know. But thanks for that suggestion, pick. Uh, I mean, that's that's what I should be doing, right? And then I can just change the presidents, but. This is wrong. This should be star and mall. Now, if I if I parse the plus, I want to like finish. No, this is more again. This is a plus, right? And this is supposed to be an. Uh, now, if I if I return to plus, I want to kind of keep going. I want to keep going until I find a plus. So maybe this is not digital power. This is actually going to be. Okay, let's 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 uh, let's do it differently. Okay, let's put it up differently, right?
Okay, so let's see. Now, uh, this is going to be parse. So this is going to be exactly the same as parse expression. Uh, let's just let's just kill this. You know, we'll keep this as parse expression. Now, uh, instead of being like this, so we're going to say, you know. So this is going to be parse expert 2 And now this is going to be, you know A do, so E1 is going to be a parse So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be choice Dig it or par and a parse of uh, Times Keep spaces HR plus E2 Choice Digit or par Comma pars up star Turn at E1 E2 I think I think this is like this is the default president so I think maybe we'll need to I think we'll need to like flip it up and like say the the opposite right no pars I think it's because we don't reverse yeah Let's see if I can do it like this. Mars expert two. And now it's doing it the normal day way. And now it's gonna be like this. work if there's no plus in the trade okay we're actually gonna have to keep have this as plus and time and plus ambiguous pars and do not instead of read let's just do
Hmm. Yeah, and then it just doesn't parse the other ones if they don't contain a because it tries to say, you know, parse something, I'll get digger, bar on the plus, and then star, and then, you know, that's, um, okay, uh, we have to do skip spaces again, right? Okay, so, and then it tries to find, um, parse up plus. Which, oh, this should be... entire thing mm. okay so we, we parse up and then so we try okay so this is gonna be you know parse up parse x true okay so this is not the choice to the part we already have that so we're gonna like on the top level parse like this you know to, to change other up and other up blah 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 This just doesn't work. I just don't know how to write a parser. I think that's the thing. Actually, I have to go now. Because uh, dinner is here. And I have to go get dinner. So, yeah. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do this today. Sorry about that. Um, I'll come back to it tomorrow. I guess. Um... But it's, you know, parsing is hard, right? And doing it with different precedences and stuff. Especially expressions. Because, like, I don't, I never write a parser. I always just, like, yeah, I've written parsers, but then it's always, like, just, hey, you know, ignore precedents. We don't care about it. Uh, now this is just dead. So we're going to look at it till later. Yeah, it's not going too well. But I'm going to have, I'm going to have dinner now because, like, the pizza is already here getting cold sad right all right i'll uh yeah first time we've given up on a task but it's okay you know we usually allot two hours to these things and we kind of already did one today so you know and then we were like gonna try and do two but then the second one is just it's just rough you know it's been 
Uh, it's just not going that well. Which is a bit disappointing, actually, but, you know. Let's see. Let's give it, a, give, let's give it 10 more minutes. I think we can do it. Now. Oops. The Jaded Emperor. It's a pretty cool name, actually. <laughs> yeah, we have... So we parse it, right? This is adding except and it adds with you know add to mall digit four nine right and um, I mean I think that what what happens is that you know this will all um, okay let's let's go back to trying to do it like like modifying the expression itself. Because, you know, then we don't have to deal with parse errors, right? Okay, so this, this is... Okay, so this is... Let's call it transprec. Now, okay. Add par e. Okay, add a b. So, what 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 would we want to transform here, right? We want to transform. Uh, you know. Add mall to mall add, right? Add mall BC to uh, mall a uh, yeah, this is going to be add. Mall A B C. So we want this one here. So it so, so so here it says you know, add one plus two. No, that this is incorrect. So one plus two times three should be parsed as. So okay, so. 1 plus 2 times 3 is going to be parsed as add 1 uh, to mol 2 3, right? We want it to be uh, add 1 No, we want it to be mol add 1 2 3, right? So add this is going to be mall add a b c. Okay, uh, let's see here. Transprec add. So okay, so it's going to be transprec this, and then we're going to say transprec. Yeah, we're gonna like recursively apply it, right? Transprec B. Transprec C. Okay, 
Okay, now we want a um, one times two plus three, right? Which is gonna be mall A add B C and this is gonna be no this is yeah this is gonna be mall add B C we actually want this to be no this will be okay this do now Okay, works for the first one. Mm, but then I think it's not like recursively applying it. Now this is gonna be add mall BC. Okay, so if it's add, if it's add anything else, it's just gonna be other correct structures we have add power mole okay so we we cover the base cases right we don't want to change those One fifty one forty six. This one should be fourteen forty five. Okay, let's see. So Also applied in the other direction, right? I think I have to recursively apply it here. Is that just scratch? Probably, right? Yeah. So 
So Nice. Okay, now we've done it. We get we get it correct. So we so we so we kind of always when we're doing adding and multiplication, we flip it. Oof. That took some effort. No. Let's see if it works on the and put oh shit it's not gonna be too bad right let's see if it's correct oof we did it we done did it that was a rough rough one took us two hours but we did it whoop whoop all right, I'm gonna go have my pizza. I'm glad I gave it 10 more minutes. Would have been a shame to not finish it this time. All right, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you liked this double feature. Even though if it was a rough one, like, cause I was just like, I had to think, right? I, I was just not, I was just not getting it. I mean, I think I think the thing was like I wasn't doing this recursive thing, right? But we kind of you know change the precedence and we kind of do it for every level again and again and again, and then it just works. Yeah, I mean, okay, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. I think I'll be back tomorrow. I'm not quite sure, but I'll probably be back at like six o'clock if I'm back tomorrow. So you know, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not, uh, I mean, and then we can also, you know, we'll do these just afterwards, right? You do them all later. All right. Thanks for tuning in and uh, see you tomorrow. I hope. All right. Bye-bye.